I never believed in the paranormal. I'd always make fun of people who tried to convince me otherwise with their scary stories and far-fetched theories. For a long time, I felt the only thing paranormal in life was how my cereal in the morning always seemed to get soggy before I finished eating it. That was until one Saturday night, when I was sitting home alone as often as I do, casually browsing the internet and texting friends. I waited for another slow night to come to an end. It was then that I caught a glimpse of something scuttling across my floor. I freaked out a little as I assumed that it was a spider or something. I always hated bugs. I watched as the thing slipped into one of my discarded shoes. I slowly got up, picked up the shoe, ready to jump back at a moment's notice as I shook the shoe, expecting the tiny intruder to fall to the ground and startle me. Yet as I shook the shoe further, nothing happened. I became confused and peered into the shoe, and as I did, I let out a scream, tossing the thing across the room as I swear I saw an eye blinking at me from the dark confines of the shoe, glimmering in whatever little light there was. I stood in place for a good few minutes, trying to calm myself as I cautiously approached the shoe and nudged it with my foot. When nothing happened, I once again picked up the shoe and looked inside, beginning to doubt my own sanity. Once again, I froze in terror as that eye blinked again at me from the inside of the shoe. I quickly tossed the shoe into a cupboard and shut the door, going as far as making a little barricade with the small objects that littered my room. I vacated the room and did not return until my parents got home. They both seemed worried about me and dismissed my story as ridiculous. Going into my room, they made quick work of my little barricade and search the cupboard for my shoe. There's nothing in here. What? That's impossible. I left the shoe right there. It couldn't have just vanished. I panicked and searched the cupboard myself, finding nothing. It must have been a bad dream. Come on, dear. No, it wasn't a dream. It couldn't have been. Was I going crazy? It didn't make any sense. Eventually, my parents convinced me to calm down and get ready for bed, though my mind was still fixated on the missing shoe and that eye as I slid into bed and fell into an uneasy sleep. The following day, I searched my room for that shoe, and to this day, I still haven't been able to find it. I resigned myself to buying a new pair of shoes. My parents no doubting thinking that I'm completely insane. Still, late at night, when I'm all alone, I can't shake off the feeling that I'm being watched. <laughs>